What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, after months of speculation and tons of names tied to this film, we finally have the director for Spider Man 4. It was officially announced via a breaking report just 15 minutes ago in The Hollywood Reporter. And trust, I'm going to try to get this video up ASAP. Apparently, Destin Daniel Cretton, the guy who directed Shang-Chi 1, is going to do Shang-Chi 2, and obviously just finished on Wonder Man, is now going to direct Spider-Man 4. We're going to read through the entire article from The Hollywood Reporter and break it all down. Quick reminder, hit that sub button and leave a comment down below. That automatically enters you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway if you want. Stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So guys, this again broke in the last 15 minutes from The Hollywood Reporter under the headline, Spider-Man for Destin Daniel Cretton in talks to direct exclusive Tom Holland will be back under the mask for the Marvel Sony collaboration. They go on to report quote Destin Daniel Cretton is doing whatever a spider can. The filmmaker behind Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings in talks to sign on to direct Spider-Man 4. The move brings on an end to the speculation of who would spin the web for one of the biggest franchises in Hollywood. Cretton will bring fresh blood to this iteration of Spider-Man, which stars Tom Holland and is a co-production between the two separate studios, Sony and Disney-owned Marvel Studios, and it will make him the fourth director to take on a Spider-Man solo feature. John Watts directed the previous three Holland-starring movies, while Mark Webb helmed the two Amazing Spider-Man movies starring Andrew Garfield and obviously Sam Raimi who returned to do Multiverse of Madness did the trilogy featuring Tobey Maguire. They go on to say that Sony and Marvel had no comment. The Tom Holland Spider-Man movies grew into a $1 billion franchise with Spider-Man No Way Home enticing pandemic weary audiences out of their homes and grossing almost $2 billion after it was released in December 2021. The film also starred Maguire and Garfield. Chris McKenna and Eric Sommers are back to script duties, while Marvel head Kevin Feige and former Sony head Amy Pascal are producing. Sources say that Spider-Man 4 is running, not crawling, full steam ahead and will shoot early next year, that's early 2025. Quote, it is unclear what the story will be, as No Way Home ended with the world forgetting that teenage Peter Parker was the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The memory wipe included the closest to him, including MJ Zendaya, who will no longer even know who Peter Parker is. In June 2023, Holland told The Hollywood Reporter that he and the producers had recently undergone a series of meetings on a potential fourth installment. Quote, the first few meetings were about, why would we do this again? And I think we found the reason why, Holland said. Cretton is popular in the Marvel fold. His Shang-Chi is considered a highlight of the post-Avengers Endgame phase of movies, and he was on board to direct the mega-budget Avengers The King Dynasty, but dropped off last November amid that project's changing production schedule and the evolution stemming from Jonathan Major's assault trial. Marvel has always wanted to find another feature for him. His nabbing the Spidey gig is also a vote of confidence on his work on Wonder Man in post-production right now. They just finished filming this year. They conclude by saying that Destin Daniel Cretton is still attached to direct Shang-Chi 2, its sequel to the first film, but it's unclear how Spider-Man will affect that project, and obviously it's going to delay it quite a bit, and it probably also means that he's not going to be directing Shang-Chi 2 before the end of the multiverse saga that will be waiting till after Avengers Secret Wars for that follow-up for the film. Now, I'm not sure how some of you are going to feel about this, and I know you'll let me know down in the comments, but guys, my immediate reaction to this, even though we hadn't heard this name leading up to the announcement, is this is an awesome awesome pick by Marvel Studios, obviously he's still going to do the sequel to Shang-Chi, so it's not like he's doing this instead of that, and we wondered why he left Avengers 5, but as it turns out, everything about that project changed, and now he's replaced it with Spider-Man 4. I think this is a great pick because Marvel Studios really had to go with a known commodity as far as Spider-Man 4, and let me explain. Of course, if Sony doesn't get one of these movies done every five or so years, the rights bounce back to Disney and Marvel, so there was already a time constraint with that. That's why the article made sure to mention in a coy way that they're running towards this and not walking. They've got to start filming on this thing next year because they've also got the constraints of the multiverse saga. And as we're probably going to talk about multiple times at the channel, there's so much value in the real estate of the few films that come out and in between these Avengers films. They needed a known commodity that they've already worked with at Marvel Studios. They could not roll the dice on a random and have this become a disaster because, again, Sony has to put it out no matter what to retain the rights. Marvel and Disney couldn't afford the luxury of just delaying and moving things around as far as it goes with the Sony film Spider-Man because it's a co-production and that's sort of been their MO when things haven't been working from them in the past. We don't even need to get into it. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about as far as some of their films. So there was no luxury to delay this. Spider-Man 4 is coming out towards the end of the multiverse saga in between those two Spider-Man films 
and it has to be good. So going with Destin Daniel Cretton, who absolutely nailed it with Shang-Chi and apparently did great work on Wonder Man, was maybe one of the only options Marvel Studios had in their small selection of directors who could take this on, because and keep in mind, they're not always getting immediate yeses. There are not people who are lining up to direct these movies in some cases. With Spider-Man though, you can rest assured, if you get offered the Spider-Man job, you're probably taking it. But we had heard names from within Marvel Studios before, and so it makes sense that they're going with Destin Daniel Cretton, they're bringing back the two guys who wrote the original trilogy for Spider-Man, because again, known commodity, they know they can do it, and then all that leaves is the question marks as to what this storyline is going to be, and I'm sure Tons of you saw the headline already from Andrew Garfield, who probably feels like it's deja vu and happening all over again. People are already asking him about uh, Spider-Man 4, and I'm going to forgive anybody who assumes that him and Toby are back, because listen, the chances of this not being a multiverse movie and falling in between the two Avengers films and it not being a prequel, if they're going to do that, is slim to none. And I don't think that Marvel Studios wants to disenfranchise a story like Spider-Man 4 and make it a prequel uh, in between the two Avengers films. Rather, they're going to want to have have some agency with that film and press the story forward. It's going to be another multiverse film. Toby and Andrew or not, I'm sure that's where we're headed with that film. And unfortunately, it sucks because they had lined him up for the perfect street-level hero story, team him up with Daredevil. It's what we all wanted to see, and my fingers are crossed they can still find a way to do that. But let's face it, guys, it's most likely going to be the Black Suit and Venom story, which, to be honest, they made it through three movies with Tom Holland's Peter Parker without relying on Venom. I'm not going to be mad if they introduce the symbiote in the fourth film, but you guys let me know all your thoughts down below in reaction to this pick. Destin Daniel Cretton directing Spider-Man 4, do you love it? Are you excited for the story? Let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. In order so that the character can be redeemed and set up in a much better light and in a much better place before we see him in a major way in the two upcoming Avengers films. You guys let me know all your thoughts though down below. Is George Miller your number one pick to direct Thor 5? And if not, who you got? I am all ears as always. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we are still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel. We're just going to continue to do that until the PlayStation 5 Pro or the 6 comes out at this point. Who knows? Either way, if you want to be entered to win, super simple, and all the same rules will always apply for giveaways here at the channel. First up, you need to be a subscriber, so hit the sub button. Then, leave a comment down below, because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. Find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes under the name AllFires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.